Hey everyone, it is your favorite monkey and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic Survival. And I am quickly going to check on something right here. Uh, hopefully these guys will leave me alone. Uh, uh. So, what I've done is widen the baseline of our vehicle over here, but I am going to... We are going to change it at some point. That's the whole idea I want. You know, this is... This is great for a starter vehicle and everything. But I think it's time that we should um, change it out at some point. But we are here because this is the location I have chosen to have a base. I have already started laying down some... These are, called, these are just stone, I think, and I don't like the grass sticking out on it. But this is just going to be the like the foundation. You can put it that way. So it's going to go around this whole way. Big, 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 big build. It's going to take a lot of blocks. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to be it. And what is nice is if you have a, a, a like something that... Mm, yeah, I think this is the best way to explain it. Um, like the seat is connected to this wheel or this bearing right here to make it turn. It is part of the same structure. So what this means is if we have a building that is like connected interconnected to each other then we can have different switches and things and um like one switch here but way over there it is doing something over there you know if we maybe hit a sensor or a trigger over here then a door will open up way in yonder or something i don't know but that's how this works and um yeah i think uh, this is going to be a great location and one project i'm thinking of in the future what i want to do is build a bridge or something across maybe maybe we will see um and we have water over here which is great for farming which i think this is yeah this is gonna be perfect you know it's gonna be so so perfect and what i want is different areas one is the um metal and metal place the forge we can call it the forge and then the lumber mill or lumber yard another thing and maybe the third would be i don't know the farming area or something you know different locations so that they have, we have vehicles uh coming in in and out of the places so let's say since this is our little um the the claw you know the, the 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 vehicle we've designed for metals and whatnot so it would come in here it would stop somewhere I can just get off because the refinery, refining bot, will have access to the resource collector on top of it. So I can just leave this and go. <laughs> like, get over here, where's my money? <laughs> I love you, cow, come back. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's the whole idea. So, um, and this is, everything is chunk loaded in this game. So if I leave, now that I've left my base, base area, I don't, the farm is not growing. Come on, break, damn it. So, yeah, that is the whole thing. That's the whole idea I have. Oh, that, that's got hurt. Listen, buddy, I don't have a lot of fuel. Come on. Oh, that should have done it. Ah, you know what? I don't care anymore. Let's just get back to base because we are going to start on a new project. So hold tight. We'll be right back. Alright, welcome back. I thought I saw something. Anyways, so... We have this vehicle, and um, I think you guys saw in the last episode that this thing just, its legs just give out, and it's not something... It doesn't work for me, okay? I've changed things around, I've dismantled things, and I don't know, it just doesn't work for me. It is, it was very resource intensive to build, but I think it's, uh, it's gonna go. I think that's what's gonna happen, it's just gonna go. So, we have... This guy over here. This is going to be our new project. This is going to be the whole thing. <laughs> it's going to be a tiny, uh, well, a smaller vehicle than this one. And tree goes in here. L like we drive up to the tree, we claw onto it. 
and have saw blades coming out on each side obviously at an angle or something it chows down the tree as we hold tight on the ground and as it like the monitor tree going downwards we have two resource collectors or maybe three or whatnot to help us collect the logs and things on the ground and then we just go and re revamp our little lumber mill over here so that the resource collectors we can just stop here with the resource collectors and then on each side these refining bots will start working and getting that for done for us so i think that is it um so, yeah, you guys, uh, give me a minute. Let me see if I cannot figure things out. And I'll bring you guys back with the final project and just a little bit of explaining on what goes where. And then we go on to testing. All tight. All right, welcome back. So, this is what I came up with. <laughs> Those are all the tires from the previous truck or bus or whatever you want to call that thing. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> that is a lot of tires there's one two three four five six oh my frames are all gone come back frames thank you uh, those are five tires right there five vehicles one two three four five six six my bad all right so we got this guy much much smaller i did give it a quick test run you know just to get the tweaks and stuff out of the way and um yeah, no physics wobbly doobly's. Yeah. And actually, it's really great for killing those guys. Really, really great. But uh, let's quickly go over the things so that we can voice break some more. Eh. You get in uh, here. Sorry, I was just out farming with this vehicle and um, the claw. I went out with the claw and uh, came back with extra stuff I don't need. So, um, before the sun sets, let us get some things over. One engine is to power the blades underneath. One engine is for the wheels. Obviously, turning, four-wheel four -wheel turning. Uh, this button goes and closes the tree inside, and it gets locked in. And also this, because what I've noticed is the, um, uh, the trees, when they get down to a certain amount, like a... Like cut down to this level instead of up there to here, it's no longer caught, so it would fall out on the sides and whatnot. So I'm just trying to find a way if we cannot like make it stop or something. Um, but yeah, this is working so far, and um, yeah, that is about it actually. And the other one obviously switched that on. Now there is there was a problem. Uh, if I could just. Uh, <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's probably the thing there. Um, let's get on here. So I did add a bar over here. I can actually take this away. Uh, I did add a bar here because what happens is that little wood piece would extend all the way to out here. And the tree would actually get caught on it. And that is a no go. That's no bueno. Actually we can. No we cannot really get out of there. Please open up. Thank you very much. Okay, so, um, without further ado, let us go and see if we can find a victim, namely a tree. I would love to take on those guys, but um, not now. We are on a mission. Let's see if we can find a suitable candidate. Okay, let's try a small tree over here. Okay, I only tested it with a tree, and it worked out pretty good. Let's test it out with some trees. Okay. We want it to enter in the hole. There we go. Oof. Go ahead and close. Oh, dude is sitting there like, this is not working. <laughs> all right. So all that is fine and dandy. Switch on the saw blades. And let's start cutting. Okay, okay. <laughs> it is working. Okay, it did its job somewhat. 
So yeah, there are tweaks that needs to be done. Like for instance, the branch sticking out here, but that I'll take care of. Oh yeah, or a breakable branch. There we go. You turned into a different branch. What? What magical world is this? Okay, let's try a bigger tree then. Bigger tree. I didn't say anything else. A bigger tree. Yeah, let's try this one. It's got weird, weird branches and whatnot. Okay, there we go. No. Ah, these are the ones that really mess up with, mess me up. Ah, okay. Try a different one. Watch out for the corn. This one, maybe. Uh, not even really. Ah, okay. I guess those are the ones we should avoid. Now there looks like a nice one. Let's quickly get this. What the hell did I just pick up? Oh, a uh, a a a arm, robotic arm. Okay, get in my pocket, a hole. Lock us in. Switch on everything. And let it rip. Okay, we got it. We got it. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That looks a little bit better, right? So I think it tells me the blades are not potent enough, or the engine is not strong enough. And let's release. And there we go. That is awesome. Alright, and that is somewhat a amount of wood we got. Not a lot, though. Oh, corn! I knew they were gonna get in the way. They're, they're always like that, you know. Corn just randomly rocks up out of nowhere. Ah, uh, I hate it when that happens, especially in my yard. You know, one day it's like beautiful, clean. Next day, corn everywhere. So I built this little place just to quick in quick out nothing too massive let's get to there and there we go now they are going to start to work and that's exactly what I wanted are oh, you bastard oh my goodness why did you go ahead and destroy my garden you yeah. so mad at this really they walk in a line and if something gets in their way they just start smashing it i've seen it with other things a lot of other things it's stupid really it is but anyways that is the time we're gonna have for today guys thank you so much for joining me here on scrap mechanic survival hope you guys did enjoy today's episode and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye